Hey everyone, this is Eric, and now we're going to look at the middle function, or the mid function. We're going to extract items from the middle, or extract text from the middle of your string. So the mid function. Uh, if I look at the, well, if I look at my worksheet, so A2, I have John Everett Maxwell again. Okay. Back here again, I have uh, my middle name string range A2. So that's going to be John Everett Maxwell. So if I step through the code here with F8, okay, it recognizes John Everett Maxwell as my total name. Okay, that's my total name, John Everett. We just want to strike out the Everett portion. Okay, so let's start at the then here the mid from the use of the mid function and the mid function requires me to have a string, which I do. Where it is start. Okay, start at the the ninth character and go over three. Start at the ninth character and go over three. Well that's nice if it's all uh if it's all consistent and you have three characters, but I have none. Actually, I have in Everett, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, really, I should have seven here. Go for seven. So, the middle name, uh oh, Everett. Start of the ninth character. I guess that's wrong too. Look at that. Well, let's back up. To back up, take this marker and drag. Use it. Make sure you have the double. You see that little arrow key right there? We're going to take that arrow and drag it out. Okay. And then reassign this. Now it's back. It's saying John Everett Maxwell. So start at, let's say, one, two, three, four. Four, five, six. So I'm going to start at start at six. So the middle name is Everett, and then the middle name is going to be Everett. Okay, range C two. So range C two, we have Everett. That's great. Now, what happens if uh, you're your data that's a, that's the basic mid function. But what happens if your if your text if you have a list of names and they're all inconsistent? You know that well, it's not going to start at number six. Then it's not going to end at seven. It's not going to be always seven characters. Well, then these two need to be variables. These two need to be variables. And by the way, before you even get go there. Uh, I want to make make this point. You can start this required a requirement. So we have six, but notice how there's uh, there's a uh, little little brackets around the length there. Well, that means that it's optional character and you don't really need it. So you could extract everything up to a certain point. And just say, okay, well, now uh, I'm going to get just the last name. I'm going to start. You use the mid function kind of like a, kind of like up to the, the point, kind of like the uh, right function. And uh, so I'm, now I'm avoiding using that last argument there. I'm just saying, just give me everything from the sixth character over. You may find some useful uh, useful feature with that. Okay, back to what I was talking about. What happens if your if your data is uh, is not very consistent? So we have the instring function. So here, notice how I can copy everything. Everything that's green, it is going to be commented out. So. This is an example with the answering function. So I'm going to beautify this. Again, it's to help in reading. To help me read it better. It's probably going to help you. I would recommend you 
you go ahead and come uh, beautify yours as well. This helps your it helps your reading. Uh, go ahead. And this is a really a really interesting example. Okay, I'm gonna F8 it so I can step through it. So the middle name, I'm going to assign the whole, uh, assign this whole name to this variable here. Now I'm going to find out the first position, the position of the first space at 5. And then increment the position by 1. Okay, be kind of, it, it's familiar, uh, be familiar to you if you remember the, the right function. We had to find the we had to find the space to get that last name out of there. If you haven't look at the right the, the right function video. Now find the position of the second space using the position of the first space. Okay. So I recommend again look at that uh, check out that right video. Position of the second space you use the position of the first. Remember that this position this first argument is where to start at so I'm starting at the position of the second space because I already know I already know where the first space is okay it's at uh, well it's at 5 but I increment it by 1 so it's at 6 so here I'm starting at 6 again and I'm saying okay now Want everything between the six and this position, six and the thirteen. Find the error, subtract the two values. Oh, I just want seven characters now. It's your middle name, Everett. Middle name. Okay. The mid. I have my string, which is John Everett Maxwell. Start at. Start at what? Start at start at six and go over seven characters. Go over seven characters. So I'm starting at six and I'm going over seven characters only. And so I have ID characters is going to be the division, the the subtraction, the difference from the position two and the position one. And up comes my name. Ever. Again, here I'm going to run it quick. Bang. Ever. Again, this is useful if you have a list of names and uh, they're inconsistent in where, wherever the spaces are. You, you don't have a, a singular, singular name. You may have multiple names. You have to extract the middle names out of them just to be able to sort by that. We get both sort by the middle name and part of a database a database fundamental is that you take the first name the middle name and the last name and put them into separate columns so that's a principle of normalization so you don't want to have the a name in one field you can always join the name back up but it's uh, more difficult to parse it out but this will allow you to, to parse the name out Again, thanks. I hope it's useful to you. Bye-bye.